Hey guys, it's Rich, and I wanted to do a quick video on um, some of the books that I've read recently. And the first one on the docket is The Magical Power of the Saints. And this is by Reverend Ray Marlboro. Uh I have no clue how to say the last name on there. But this is actually kind of... It's more of a book of... Uh, candle magic and uh, prayers with the uh, with the psalms than it is actually how to work with the saints and different saints and so forth and so on and whatnot. But I mean, it is a good read. It is educational. However, it didn't fully jive with me. Though I will use some of this in my personal practice. So if that's something that interests you. There's that one. Like I said, good read. It's a little on the dry side for my liking, but overall, pretty informative. The next one, I also did this one on the Pagan Perspective video that I did on, uh, on transgender, I want to say it was. It was a video that we did in, was it December? January? Something like that. Anyway. I suggested it in the video there, and I also want to put it in this video. This one is um, The Path of the Green Man, Gay Men, Wicca, and Living a Magical Life by Michael Thomas Ford. The thing I like most about this, and it's basically a, like a Wicca 101 book for gay men, and the thing I liked most about this was the mythology in it. He has the main character, the Green Man go through the turning of the wheel, and it has eight chapters, it's laid out very nicely. If you're just starting your path and you happen to be gay, I highly suggest this book because it will actually teach you a lot of how to uh, look at yourself in the way of, of living a pagan lifestyle. So, if that's something that interests you, that would be a great book for you. The next one on the docket is The Christian Witch's Handbook, Solitary Practitioner's Edition. Now, I don't know if there's another edition, but apparently I got the Solitary Practitioner's Edition. And this is by H. Fuller, Fuller Hutchison. A good book overall, fairly easy read. Uh, she keeps it fairly simple, which I really enjoy because I hate all the heavy language and the back and forth and getting a little too complicated in, in the explanation behind what we do. The only downside to this is it's a lot of correspondence charts, not really a lot of meat and potatoes, but if you want something that's more of a correspondence chart, then this might be more of your guide. Some good recipes in there that I'd like to try that are both mundane and magical. Uh, what else did I want to say about this one? I should really take notes on these whenever I read them. But yeah, I mean, it, it gives a basic general overall view of a, Chris, a Christian witch's uh, journey. But like I said, not entirely detailed enough. At least not for me. But if you're just starting out in your in a Christo pagan or Christian witch uh, type practice, a good read and fairly simple to read. So I always enjoy those. The next one on the list is Weaving Memory: A Guide to Honoring the Ancestors by Laura. Uh, and I don't want to butcher her last name, but I'll put it down in the bottom bar so you guys can see it. And this one, she's from Cuba, so she has a lot of Cuban influences. Not really resonating with me on that one, but I do enjoy learning how other people honor their ancestors. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, either here on or on the pagan perspective, you know that the ancestors are a big part of my path. So, I really enjoyed this read. It, 
it's a fairly easy read. Um, not a lot of detail on the nitty-gritty of it, but again, another book where it scratches the surface and gives you enough to perseverate on to get you a little deeper. Um, something that kind of wets the palate a little and makes you want to journey deeper into it. A lot of the workings that we do in any path, I think, is more of the internal uh, the internal thoughts and the internal feelings and where we take our path. So, putting that in a book, I don't think can necessarily be done, but she does give enough for us to think about in order to deepen our thoughts and feelings on it. So, I do suggest this one if you are interested in honoring your ancestors in one way, shape, or form, or another. So, again, weaving memory. So that is my book review of The Path of the Green Man, The Magical Power of the Saints, Christian Witch's Handbook, and Weaving Memory. If you guys have read these books and would like to discuss them further, I have added a page on my blog, Christopaganism.com. The link is in the bottom bar. And I'm going to start putting my thoughts um, about each book that I read into that page. So hopefully I can put it where you guys can leave comments. I'm going to try to do that. I'm not sure if I can. And if you want to hear about them a little bit further or more of my thoughts and feelings on them, I'll find some way to do that on on WordPress. I'm still trying to figure all this technology stuff out. But I will put my book reviews in their entirety on Christopaganism.com in the book review section. I just started the page, so it's just starting out, so I kind of have to build up the page a little bit. So, But you guys can find that in the bottom bar, as always, along with the information on the books and their authors, so you can find them on Amazon and whatnot. So, until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.